A child or children have the right to education, protection, understanding, loving, caring. Na mimi naona ngeanza kwanza kuelimishwa wazazi ndio waje watoto waelimishwe. Kuta labda wazazi waligombana nyumbani, kwa hiyo saa zote anakuwa na hasira tu. Basi mwalimu anapata hasira anaanza kutukana. Unakuta labda mwalimu alitoka nyumbani na hasira zake huko. Na mburundi bose, jani mvira bose ni banetere bose. Kwa hiyo baba muri famiye batifashe, batashaka kuronga ibyo bashaka byose. Despite their unique and privileged position in traditional African society, as highly valued family members who contribute to the culture, economic and social prosperity of the community, children are often barred from discussions and involvement on decisions affecting their lives or matters relating to the family or community. In order to learn from them, the African Child Policy Forum carried out children's and youth opinion polls in 18 countries across Africa. We let the children speak for themselves. to help the guns. Some of us can take the knives and stab the persons because of the angriness. We need to have a parental care and uh, I think most of children like we, eh, we lack parental care. I mean you look at a child who's grown up in boarding school, even uh, when they go to the university, they're still in hostels, so they miss that love from home. So I think a child is right. They have to know their parents. They have that. They have to feel loved and cared for. The person I trust the most is my mom. She's a lady who has listened to me. We've gone through thick and thin together, and yeah, she's my hero. As in, she's my everything. She's a mother. I trust my father because I know he's the one who can tell me anything. If I want any information and I want to make a thing. I think the first person should be my mother. And she tells me whatever, what I'm going to do, whether it's good or bad. And she's only the one who I can most trust in the world.
nje nka jewe ndakanira nabavyeyi banje ari ari ibintu ukubera hari ge usanga umwana agira amakosa bisaba ko bavyeyi barinda kwicara bakaganira ubwe bamwereka aho yakosheje abavyeyi bawakusha ko bitabana bibaza ngo ariko barabahano ariko ahanene ne baba ariko barabahano kuko umwana umaze kumumenyeretsa inkone aja na nacho aba haragerike na ke na kimwe bimubwira kombozi wanafundisha maisha ya jinsi ya kuishi kwa ukifanya ili ni libaya ili ni lizuri wazazi wengine wangekopo wanafanya kama hapa mkombozi wangejenga taifa vizuri most of my information i get from my mother and others from my teachers and maybe others from maybe televisions newspapers I have a great experience of going to the internet but if it is necessary I can do yeah I'm able to use the internet now when I surf I look for some some friends on internet which can help because now I need to go back to school and I need to do some jobs I get most of my information from the streets the way people talk from newspapers from TV internet like the internet I'll have to go and look for this anything that I desire to need Ndibeze ke kuno yifwa ya abandanga ndi mayanga omo ndebore ndibeze ke kuno kuri ndi tsiku ya nchito Tumenyera mu bantu ryaho dusanga bariko barabiya kama yo gacebaza baratubarira natwe ngo gacya tubimenyera nga Jana wa tito ablana hawana haki moja kwa sababu wasichana ndio ambao wanafanya kazi na kusoma kuliko avlana I think they do have equal rights to education parents are trying so hard to educate both the boys and the girls Girls were still treated as underdogs. I would say finding a job as a girl would be easier, yeah? Because you look good and maybe something will attract that other person to you that would have to give you a job, which is so unlikely for the boy. It's hard to get one opportunity. So if I go to apply for a job and someone who has a relative or a friend, even if you could get that one opportunity, nothing comes for free so they'll tell you you know before i give you the job you you're supposed to sleep with me either you give up or you give in the children who are living on the street with me they don't care about condoms <coughs> they sometimes say like to die is nothing it is not because they don't have the money to buy the condoms nabandi ifubyi abanyina abase bafuye ni numugera wa sida ingora ari ari imetse nabi kandi yica kumenga sicuka imene tsindi ariko nicoke mu gusana kubita kubitaho rutumengo aje yuko kuri jewe abavyeyi banje nituganira ibyonye if you have a sexual guy, get to show up with me and get up, but you are about getting the two tabbies. Africa, yeah, basically, is poor because um, people don't want to listen to each other, yeah. Everyone thinks they're above the other. Like when you bring up this idea, someone will think. You're trying to be above me, yeah? so why don't I do this? Why don't I sabotage this? There's no trust among Africans. Basically, that is it. And the level of communication is too bad. The future of Africa, I think if we want to make it positive, we should actually accept the modernization of this world. Actually, I can mean democracy should be there. The institutions, sometimes, most of the times, they're not fair. So instead of providing justice, they side with this with the rich people. They should just be neutral and decide the matters, give us justice.
I want to have a knowledge of being that accountant. But the problem is that I don't know whether it, I will make it. By the time maybe I will complete my studies, I think the price will be already very much money. I don't know where my mom can manage it. I'm really facing as my ambition uh, actually is to see that I go for further education even though my parents are not there. Then if you are left there at the lowest level, especially maybe in the primary or secondary, that is the end of your life. I was born in the world and I was born in the world. I was born in the world and I was born in the world. I was born in the world and I was born in the family. I was born in the world of Tanzania. Sababu Tanzania ndo nilipo zaliwa na ndo nilipo kulia na hadi hapo ntakapo kuwa mpumu. Uwonye nindi kondarawa ingene na gize imana yoko gira wafze ya iba ando si shosha kawa ndira mashure. Dada kwa nzoro nga kato za kwa ndi kwa ndi. Nindi kujibu cha tumumua na uigi hugu. Iki nda chumu vila kwa cha nina niba harani lagate kwa kumunga na abana nabo bakagira ico bagejwe kuvyiga ihugu ukavugira abandi bana ingorane bafisiga seruranya abana nyene kandi kuko ni wubu yizi cyane waziri nko ninga wasitedia wa wasitane laweza kapata haki ya kusoma at times you can support a girl child and she is better than a boy child young people should go to people they think they would talk to easily yeah because communication matters a lot so I think basically they, they should go to people they think will listen to them. I think children to be represented in decision making of the country, it should start from home. Because if you're not allowed to speak at home, how will you speak for the whole country? Everyone will say, she's just a kid, he's just a kid. To build hospitals, schools, and to make, to get those people who are educated, full educated, to be in offices. Like in the ministry, yeah? there is no youth, like I would say minister of youth and something like that. Maybe it would help out, it would help out a lot and maybe children's voices would be heard more. Another idea I should, I should also have is uh, to express myself. So I'm supposed to express myself in uh, the community, through meeting, giving my opinions, the issues that I think is good for our country. Children's rights are the things that someone can take a decision on his or her own. Some children have knowledge, they can speak all their rights. When the government listens to the voice of the children, they will create a good country. The future of Africa lies on our shoulders. Nurture our potential and enable us to be capable of changing this continent for the better. Support us in improving our skills and allow us to effectively participate in decision making about the issues that most affect our lives. Improve our access to relevant information, no matter where we live. Educate our parents on positive parenting and reduce violence against children. Provide us with media forums to voice our concerns and influence the decisions of policymakers. Support us in establishing other mediums where a child and youth voices are listened to. Respect what we have to say. <laughs>